K2. <laughs> Hello again, this is Bob Weir with another video interview of People in the News in North Texas. Uh, with Veterans Day coming up next week, I've been doing some interviews of local veterans who have served our country proudly. My guest today is Don Shields, a 22-year veteran of the U.S. Navy who retired as a Master Chief several years ago. Master Chief Shields is also a recognizable figure in Denton County for his support of political candidates. If you're a Flower Mound voter, you've probably seen him during early voting and on Election Day. He's the guy holding the large sign with the names of about four candidates from the top of the ticket uh, to those uh, in the local races. Thank you for being here, Mr. Shields. Thank you. If you would, please tell our viewers something about your service in the Navy. In nine, uh, April of 57, 1957, I joined the Navy Reserve. I just had to go to meetings once a week. And then uh, uh, when I graduated from high school in 1959, I immediately went active duty for a two-year hitch and then just stayed for 20, 20 years. Uh, my first ship was the USS Waccamaw, AO 109 home port at Newport, Rhode Island. I spent a couple years on there. Then uh, I went to border technician school in Philadelphia for about six months. And then I, when I got done with that, I went to the USS Boston, uh, heavy cruiser. Uh, spent about eight years on there, made two uh, seven-month cruises to Vietnam on it. Uh, got, and then in, uh, I, my next, uh, duty station was I went to Philadelphia and I taught school for four years. Then I went to the uh, uh, USS Milwaukee, uh, another oiler, spent about three years on, on that. And uh, we were the first 600-pound uh, propulsion plant to go through a propulsion examining board. and uh, we. Went through that with flying colors. I was teaching machinist mates, BTs, electricians, uh, because of my experience as an instructor. And, uh, uh, and my reward for that was that when they fired the uh, chief on the Inchon, uh, they uh, sent orders from Washington that I was the one that was going to go aboard that ship and take it to the uh, Mediterranean to uh, uh, sweep mines in the Red Sea. And uh, I did that successfully. And then when I came back, I went to uh, Surf Land's mobile training team, which uh, went from ship to ship to ship to ship training uh, the crew for these propulsion examining boards. And after four years of that, I retired, 20 years in Navy. And you also were stationed in, around Vietnam? I wasn't stationed in Vietnam. We, t we took two cruises over there. Oh, I see. Okay. On the ship, I, I never actually had it on land. We sat there with shooting eight-inch guns, shooting shells at the bad guys. Oh. <laughs> you know, 15 miles off the coast. Well, and and so you retired as a master chief petty officer. That's uh, the, the the rank, right? Right. And, and what exactly is is a master chief petty officer? What do you, what does he do? Well, he's an E9. That's the highest enlisted you can. You know, so you just have more responsibility and more responsibility and, and more responsibility as you... And is that like the equivalent of a, uh, a sergeant major in the Army or a master sergeant in whatever the army? Whatever the rate, whatever the rate is for... Yeah, I think that's the highest, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that, the sergeant major is the highest enlisted rank in the Army, so this would be the same thing, I suppose. There's, yeah. there's only one that's higher, and that's the, uh, the Master Chief of the Navy. And he's classified as an E-10. It's the same pay. Really? And so um, what does it take for someone in the Navy to reach the rank of Master Chief? Well, you just have to be willing to study, you know, work hard. Uh, border technicians is particularly difficult because you've got about an average 80-hour work week. And, uh, uh, and if you don't want to go over in town and get drunk, you can study the books and, and uh, learn the engineering plans. I, I, I know a lot about thermal engineering and uh, water construction and uh, uh, 
whole propulsion plant. So it's really if you want to uh, uh, if you want to buckle down and, and do your studies and pass some tests uh -huh. and uh, and you know just uh, get the education that's required, you make it up the rank to uh, the, the, the highest. Yeah, and, and, rank. and it, you know, and and there's some uh, you know, uh, like I said, eight-hour work. Nobody wants to be a uh, boiler technician, so uh, that weight that rate is pretty wide open. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm 89 in 17 years. Normally it takes 20 to 24 years. Uh, but because of the rating that I was in, uh, it was wide open. So it was easier because of that. Hmm. It's just uh, working hard, I suppose, like anything else. You know, so you put in the extra time, the extra work, the extra studying, you, you, know, you move up the ladder. Uh, let me ask you, as I stated earlier, you're almost a fixture at the election polls in Flower Mound. Mm -hmm. When did you become uh, a strong advocate for Republicans, and when did you start holding those big signs at the polls? I've always been a strong Republican, very conservative. I, that's why I carry my Constitution. Yes, I notice you always have the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States with you. It, it, it's, it's with me. It, this this document, you know, the, the young people this time, you know, ought, ought, they ought to read it. You know, they, have, they don't have any idea of what's in there, for the most part. It's the most violated document in the, in the past few years that you can imagine. The First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Tenth Amendment, we're, we're not following it. It's being challenged a lot, you're right, right, right up to the Supreme Court. Sure. And, and uh, you know, and I, I just, I'm very patriotic. And you worked to defend that for many years. Him first, my country second. And um, how, how much time does this take each day? You, you have to have long days doing this. I see you out there all the time. I mean, any time we went to vote, you were always there. We were, recently we voted early, and we, we waited online for about an hour and ten minutes, and I know when we got there, you were there. You were still there when we left. <laughs> well, I do a lot, like, I, you know, I've done, I've done uh, block walking. Uh, I did that for Michelle French. Cut about 700 homes that time uh, when she was running for the first time. For a tax assessor. For tax assessor. And then uh, this time I took a bunch of the flyers out that was telling people when to vote. I hit, you know, my uh, district there in, in uh, Timber Creek. Uh -huh. and, uh, so that's a lot of block walking. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, and then I do all the early voting, which is the, the, the first week is nine hours a day. Uh, and then Saturdays usually. 12 hours. Then the next week, Monday to Friday, is 12 hours a day. And then on election day on the 8th, that'll be 12 hours. And for, and for that, you, you get a very big salary and, and a health package, I understand, right? You, I, I get the satisfaction get the, of defending that. Absolutely. And, and that you can't pay enough for that. Uh, right. You don't get paid for this, uh, this work. This is volunteer work. and. Uh, I have the utmost admiration for volunteers, as I often say. You can't make the, the, the town, the, the city, the state, you, know, you can't make it work without volunteers. You couldn't be able to pay them enough. So, um, uh, you know, I, uh, I commend you for all the time that you put in. And ha have you ever run for political office? No. 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 But I campaign for I don't. I don't feel qualified to do stuff like that, but I feel that I'll help the ones that I think are qualified. That's why I do it. Hmm. And how long have you been a Flower Mound resident? Moved here the uh, 6th of August, 1979. Been in the same house on Court and Air Court. And you're married with children? And I'm be married 44 years this December. I was 34 when I got married. I'm 78 now. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I've got four children. I've got four grandchildren, one great-grandson, which is six, and since my youngest two ain't married, I'm going to probably be having grandkids in my 90s. <laughs> well, you, you certainly look like you're going to make it. I hope so. You look, pretty, you look pretty strong and vital. Um, is there uh, anything else that you uh, would like to add to this uh, about your military service or your um, uh, political advocacy? I'm just strong 
Actually, I, I, I'm a conservative, and the Republican Party is the closest thing to that. And uh, like I said, we need to we need to follow that Constitution. You're right and, about that. And if we don't, we're going to be like Venezuela. Yeah. Or uh, Greece. Yeah, we are as strong as our Constitution. I, I agree with that. Well, uh, Master Chief Don Shields, I, I want to thank you very much for coming over for this interview, and thank you so much for your service to this country and the service to this uh, North Texas community. Uh, you are uh, you're, you're one of the, the many people that I admire from around here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and thank you for watching.